<laughs> so, in today's video, we gotta work on the X585 again because John Deere is a bunch of cheap freaking things. Do you guys see a problem already? You see a problem? You see a bigger problem? Yeah, this happened again. So, let's get on it. So, I don't know where I'm going to exactly put you guys. Maybe over there a little bit. I'm going to put my screen up so I'm not getting your guys' way. I guess I think I'm going to need that for this thing. So, this pin is kind of jammed up in there. Oh, yeah, it jammed itself again. Really, I think it bent it again too. Freak me. Oh, guys. This this shit cannot get any more freaking complicated than this. Absolutely cannot get complicated than this. So what I think I'm going to try to do is start the tractor up and try to get that cylinder to push out. And by pushing out, I'm hoping I'm not going to bend it, but I don't know where else to get that thing to get out. There's a, so that pin is latched onto this, and this is, this that pin lifts up the three point, and why there is a shaft like this, I honestly don't know. Let alone, this is for the mowing deck. I mean, this, this contraption is just blows my mind away. Like, you're paying $20,000 for a tractor just for this to happen. And I think now I'm probably going to put a freaking bolt through that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it today. I might have to do it tomorrow. But I don't know what else to do. Um, and actually, yeah, because that bolt is on that cylinder. So, of course, Olympus batteries. I've got a blinking battery, so i got to switch batteries. Okay, what you guys are about to witness, one of three things is going to happen. Either A... Shit is going to really break. B, I'm going to bend a lift cylinder. Or C, that pin's going to come undone. Or D, I'm going to knock the camera out of the way. I guess D's going to happen first. Really? Really? You cold-blooded bastard.
Forest Reservation. Guess I gotta get my fucking thing. What did you do? Might have to get the sawzall. <laughs> Just might. Because <laughs> that thing is fucking bent to hell. And actually, I might start it up again and oh, try to move it back just a little bit. Let's see, one battery dead, two battery dead. They're all charged, one well, battery suck. So anyway, oh, let's look at the damage report here. Uh, nothing has been bent. This cylinder's not been bent, nothing's been bent. Um, the only situation is, how do I correct the situation from now on, which, so this cylinder, I think, is supposed. To, this is all supposed to get ridden in this, which. Oh, this stuff. So, what I don't understand is they've got everything connected at one point, and with everything connected, this is what's holding this pin. Junk. So what I think I'm gonna do is get a freaking mother of all fucking bolt. Something, something heavy duty, lock tight it, put it on there with a lock washer, and call it because what's failing is the pins. It's not the tractor, it's the pins. But then again, it is the tractor because fucking John Deere, you pay 20 grand for something and they do shit, horse shit like this. Like, like, look, look at this. Like, this is, this is the mulling lift rods, right? So that's the lift rods for the mowing deck. And then you add the three point. It's like, really? Really? You guys had a cheap out on this? I don't understand this concept a bit. But let me know what you guys think because I think a bolt's going to go through there next. Um, I'll try to have to go to tractor supply and hopefully. Because <laughs> this, this, these are the pins that are failing. And it's just they're not supporting the weight of the tractor so maybe John Deere's got a solution for this because this is this is ridiculous like that's ridiculous <clears throat> but I'm glad I can now I'm a professional at moving these fucking pins so if this ever happens on your tractor call me I'll call, I'll come and take it out <clears throat> but you can see it's absolutely the inside of it right here is like fucked like I don't know if that's a hole what it is. But something is going to happen from this. Either I'm going to bolt it and I'm going to stick the 500 foot pound impact wrench in there and I'm going to call it good. 
But as you can see, it's kind of, whoa, there we go. Let's see that little silver spot there. It's kind of like, and maybe I don't have it in the right hole to begin with. But that's what that hole's supposed to look like. That's what that hole looks like right now. And that hole is not, oh, this is just fucking jammed up. Oh, I don't like this, this thing is, there we go. But it's like, really? Really, John Deere? Oh, for the love of God. So, great. I think a Kubota BX2680 or something. I, I'm, I really do not want to buy one of these tractors again knowing this is a known issue. Maybe they fixed it in other series, but this is like holy fucking shit. This is ridiculous. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this video. So, from now, box waiting is done. So I figure out a solution to this. And if I do, let you know.